Hey everybody, it's Carolyn Edland. I'm the founder of Artsy Shark and welcome to my YouTube channel. We talk about the business of art here. So if that's of interest to you, consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Today, we're going to speak about art shipping. And I have a very special guest joining me today. And that's Ilya Kushnirsky from fineartshippers.com who are professional shippers, and he's going to answer some of my questions. Fineartshippers.com uh, is obviously online. I'm going to put it in the link to it in the description of the video below, and that way you can reach them very easily. So welcome, Ilya. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much, Caroline. Appreciate the time. So you are in the art shipping business, which is a... Uh, a well known to many people, but it's a mystery to some artists. In fact, I think a lot of people think about fine art shippers and they're thinking, well, museums use them or galleries or fine art shippers are transporting art to large art fairs, which you do, but you also work with individual artists. So could you tell me how you do that and why an individual artist might hire you? Caroline, I would say that uh, fine art shipping today is a very robust industry. It's growing quite a lot, especially that the art industry is growing quite a lot. And uh, I mean, I would say that any artist that specializes in, I don't want to say high-end works of art, but relatively, let's call them more or less expensive works of art that are in the thousands of dollars uh, and they transport to shows, they transport to galleries and they need safe level transportation. I'm pretty sure that they are aware of some type of art logistics company. And the reason is because art logistics company, they're basically like any other transportation or moving companies, but they have a specialty and the specialty is obviously transporting works of art. Uh, we use specialized materials. We use professional art handlers. And the same way like you would, uh, I want to try to compare it to an industry that you could relate. Because uh, when you hear movers, usually when people hear movers, they want to scream because they have some type of bad experience of moving. <laughs> P piano got scratched. Something got broken. So it's like, uh, imagine if you compare like a mover, but on the level of like surgical operation where you would come in and you know precisely exactly uh, what type of material to use, uh, how to hold a piece of art, where to hold it. If it's some type of antique furniture from 18th century, you know exactly how to wrap it, exactly how to touch it, how to not touch it, how to pick it up so that a leg won't break, like a piece won't fall off. You're basically like a super, super, super careful mover that knows exactly what they're doing and knows exactly how to deliver the art or an antique from point A to point B without dropping it, scratching it, temperature control, like, you know, everything about the process to the point where you're 100% confident that something will get delivered, you know, and everything will be super safe. And the reason why artists use us is because I want to say they want to make sure that, you know, things get safe from place from their studio to their end client or to their gallery. So it's, you know, there's no magic to it. It's just the fact that we're in this particular process and we know this process very well, like super well. That's all we do. My father's been involved in this business since like early 2000s before he was an antique dealer. Uh, I was working in the gallery business since I was 16. My first job was at a gallery. 
New York Antique Center show place. I was 16. I was already packing porcelain, doing shows, setting up, you know, different booths for antique dealers. I was doing Miami Beach antique jewelry show since I was like 16, 17. So we know the process so well that we were able to replicate it and transcend that knowledge and that uh, basically care. One of the things that is super important in our company and what we teach our art handlers, what we teach people that we work with, partners in different states, is that care is one of the most important things that, uh, uh, one of the most important values that we want to bring to our clients, uh, that care is like super important. So I want to say that you know, care is one of the most like uh, precious things that we deliver aside from delivering a painting. It's not just right. a painting. It's the level of care that goes with that painting, that goes with that statue, that goes with that piece of porcelain. And that makes customers feel safe, whether it's right. a gallerist, whether it's a client, whether it's a buyer, whether it's a museum, it's the care. The care is exactly. essential. Yeah, yeah. exactly. The, All the, 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 every the, party so, involved needs needs to know that it will get there safely because they're counting on it to absolutely. be there for a sale or to be there for exhibit. Totally, and, totally, yeah. totally. So when you totally. were describing what you do, you used the term logistics company. And yes. if you look on yes. your website, it says that fineartshippers.com is a logistics company. So could you, could you define logistics and um, tell us what does that include? Well, in my opinion, and I'm not going to like try to define it dictionary wise, but I want to say logistics is basically connecting the dots. It's basically connecting a network of dealers, uh, gallerists, museums, whatever the uh, initiation point is, and then delivering it to the final point for whatever the purpose is. It could be, an, like you said, an exhibition, it could be a sale, it could be a temporary storage, it could be permanent storage, it could be an installation, and whatever goes on in between whether it's us receiving a piece from the airport, doing customs clearance, picking it up, delivering it to the warehouse, unpacking it, uncrating it, taking it to the client in our transportation, installing it, or whether it's us taking a piece from a client in Houston, Texas, with our art shuttle, delivering it to New York, packing it, at the site, unpacking it, on creating it, installing it, whatever goes in between these, you know, two dots of initiation and endpoint for us, it's logistics. It's our transportation, our guys, our art handlers, installation point. Uh, if it involves like airport, like if it gets from Europe to Florida and it needs to be picked up and you need to do customs clearance, you need to do delivery, unpacking, uncrating, installation, insurance, all of that combined is basically logistics. Right. So an artist who's shipping something themselves, they're going to be in the studio with tons of bubble wrap or cardboard or crates or whatever, calling an insurance company, trying to get insurance on. Right. This item. right. And it, I know it can be a mess because I've shipped things. And unfortunately I have shipped things that have broken and then you have to deal with claims and it's just, right, it is right, a big deal. Absolutely. And it's very stressful uh, when you're, when you have a high end item and everything has to go perfectly and you know that you are not the person to do it because you're an artist. So um, I have one other question for you, Ilya. And I have always been very curious about exactly how things are packed. And I've heard that there's a lot of technology that allows you to pack things in very particular ways that makes them extremely safe. How, how do you go about actually taking an object and packing it and unpack how do you how do you do that 
Well, I'll tell you, depending on the type of piece that you're packing, you use specialized material. So if we're packing glass, for example, we'll use a lot of foam, we'll use dividers, we'll use a lot of tissue paper for suppressant. We always use double wall cardboard for protection. Uh, if it gets shipped like overseas and it's not a local transport or it's not transported on our art shuttle where we basically know how every piece is packed, we would always pack in a wooden crate that gives it like extra protection. So all those layers of protection are very important depending on the type of transportation. So if you're shipping, let's say, paintings from a show and, you know, we are the ones transporting them, let's say, from New York to Florida, we would pack them safely with, like, glycine paper, art plastic. We would pack them in a double wall cardboard. And that will be sufficient enough for a transport in our art shuttle because we know that it's our guys. Uh, they know how to handle art. It goes in a single truck, single delivery. If it goes, for example, to Europe, we would not risk packing it in simple uh, double wall cardboard. We would pack it in wooden crate because there it gets handled by an airline. Uh, it will go on and off. It's not just the one trip. So there's more logistics involved and it has to be safer. Same thing with glass. If it's going like from point A to point B and we are the only ones who take care of it, it's one thing. If it's third party, like an airline or a ship, ship line, it would have to be a more robust packing so depending on the job depending on the piece you evaluate it case by case right this is so interesting you know anyone who is considering shipping art that is large that is fragile that is valuable that needs to get someplace without any breakage damage or anything or loss um i think this is a great option i would encourage artists to check you out um, Absolutely, Ilya thank you. Can be found at fineartshippers.com. You're located new, in New York, but you work around the world, or you ship around the world, and you do shipping within the country through with your own uh, vehicles. Mm -hmm. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. And everybody, thank you, Caroline. Give, give this um, a visit. His, their site is very complete, has tons of information. And I think you will find it of great interest if you need to ship valuable art. Thanks so much. Take care.